Good morning, everyone. Happy Thursday to you. Uh, I'm giving you just a few updates today and a few reminders. First of all, your orientation work is due uh, by the end of this week, unless, of course, you are a very late enrollment and you don't think you can get that done on time. Just uh, fire me an email and let me know about that, and we'll work out something mutually agreeable. Uh, you two, sorry, universe, um, Unit 1, Activity 2. Uh, I was going to release that today, but looking through the Dropbox and portfolios and seeing where you're all at, no Nobody is actually ready for it so it seems ridiculous for me to release it and put some more pressure on you when uh, a lot of you are just uh, sort of figuring all this out and getting rolling so I'm gonna hold that over uh, we'll see how people make out today I might release it for tomorrow otherwise I'm gonna wait till Monday um, along with that I'm gonna be giving out some instructions on how to effectively set up your portfolio so that it is gonna be streamlined and easy to use for the whole uh, unit right now the way we have it set up or the way I see people starting to use it I think we're gonna end up with like a big jumbled mess in there and so I'm going to be giving you some tips on how uh, how to streamline uh, that so it looks nice and so that it becomes a really functional tool for you uh, when you're going to go back uh, towards the end of the course and look at that information for your culminating uh, activities so uh, we are working towards something with the portfolio just bear that in mind uh, this this course is really well designed in that uh, everything you're doing leads somewhere later so more on that to come. Uh, additionally, I think that's all I had to say, except for one important thing. As you're going through activity one, a lot of you have been popping me little questions. How about this? Am I doing this right? Uh, and so we're starting to run into those situations already. I'm very, very happy to take a look at your work in advance and give you some feedback on how you're doing, if you're on the right track. Uh, maybe if you simple things like maybe it should be set up like this or you should be answering like that. Uh, some simple things for you. And if you want to know before you hand something in, if you're that kind of person that has to uh, have things felt out really, really well, uh, by all means, please just email me what you're working on, your work in progress. Just tell me what your questions are and uh, where you're at with the work. I'll take a quick look. Just like showing me in class, like, hey, Ms. Reynolds, how am I, is this what you meant? Is this what I'm supposed to be doing? It's that kind of a thing. So I'll just, it's not for marks or anything. I take a take a peek, say yes, no, try this, and, uh, and send you on your way so you have time to polish things up before you actually submit. So call it formative feedback, uh, something that I'm quite willing to do, and uh, you should take advantage of if you're having any hesitations about uh, if you're on the right track or not. Um, the reason that we do this is that uh, I know immediately where you're at uh, without you having to try and describe it in words over the pager or an email or a remind and of course we're asynchronous right so sometimes if I'm teaching there is you know a huge time lag between you sending me a message and me getting back to you and those hours can be grueling so uh, to minimize all of that back and forth nonsense we're just gonna send one email off of the question and then usually I'm pretty good uh, usually go back to you I can probably turn that around within a day so you can see it so leave yourself enough time uh, before the due date is what I'm saying that's it for now and again if you're having questions concerns you don't know where you are, what's going on, by all means, send me information. I'm here to help you out. Thanks. Have a great day.